Have you ever had one of them unfortunate days on ARK where it seems like everything you're doing is not going your way? Well that's sort of what happens in today's video. However, we do have many lucky moments like grapple glitch raiding over 20 plus turrets in a cave for some good loot, also loads of PvP, and upgrading the most hidden rat hole and much much more. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Starting this one over on Centaur, there was someone outside of Pole Cave and I wanted to get into some PvP, so let's go. I literally reloaded at the worst possible time. Why? Hold on, I'm in fight right now, mate. His movement is so trash, this guy. Oh my god, no! He just rolled me! Yeah, so I got rolled in that PvP fight. I think I was going into that a bit overconfident, uh, but it happens, I guess. Right, lads. <clears throat> just came over to... Gen 2 to get a bunch of stalkers and I got a 3k HP stalker uh, which actually isn't terrible is that Rex gonna get up here uh, yeah well, how much HP is it yeah 3k basically so to be honest that isn't terrible obviously you can get better like 3.5k and upwards like that but 3k right now is fine I just need to get grinding uh, it's currently like one already like I've literally just got on to so I've been slacking a little bit, but shouldn't be too big of a deal. I then came over to Lost Islands because I wanted to farm a bunch of drops to see what kind of loot I could get, and then this happened. Why? Well, like, why? Is that there? Bro, I'm so triggered, like... Oh my god, bro, like... I'm just running into turrets, like... Ah, why is that even there in the first place though, like, oh my god, I came over here to get Sonoma crop and I end up dying, like, please game, am I even any close to that? Guess I got my kit back. I have an extra set of flat, we'll just reverse, <laughs> reverse up here. Good job, a good job. There's a lot of drops around me, so I can just uh, transfer off. But I'm gonna run to this red drop because why not? Let's see, and then I come back to this, and then I'll transfer off again. And uh, yeah, I'd been so triggered if I still lost that, but I didn't. Just don't have a mailing now, which isn't the biggest problem in the world. Ah, oh, there we go. It really is not hard. Like, why? Why did I? Why did it take that long? <laughs> I was raging over taming the sun on a crop because I've never tamed one of these before. Like, I just couldn't do it, but you just have to wait for them to land. It's so easy. Bro, you know what? Whilst I'm over here, I may as well get a couple because you never know, this one probably might die. Got a high chance of dying, I guess. Um, yeah, you just gotta wait for them to land and then you basically just crouch like this, like this one here. This is my next target. Right, no one actually wants to see me tame Sonona Crop, so let's get into a raid on Crystal Isles. I knew I'd find something. I just knew it, like, I don't know. But before I do do this raid and see what loot I can get, let me tell you about Bloody Ark Six Man Server. 
It's got 60 plus cave changes and it had 800 plus players playing last swipe. They also feature loads of stats and features you guys will love and enjoy. And even better, they're wiping this Friday on the 3rd. So I hope to see each and every one of you guys over there in the Discord. Top link in the description. Oh, it's, it's heavy, but the heavy placement is to the point where I don't even get shot. I'm not even going to waste the C4. I don't even have to waste the C4 on this. I already wasted the C4 on some other base, but I didn't even bother recording because I didn't get too much. And I'm not going to waste your time with like random stuff, so let's see. Bit weird, like just fabricators on the side of the map. There were bags, to be fair. Not empty. Okay, and that is my. You raid everything you see. Just easy farm. I'd rather do this than farm that gunpowder out. Put it that way. Uh, it's nice. Other stuff is kind of junk. There's a chem bench here, actually. I can now. Uh, take the flint. Oh, well, I may as well blow this. Why not? Bit of metal too. Nice. So I came off to Genesis to get a magma saw as I was literally all aberration with loads of metal and I needed to do a metal run. And also, whilst I was over here, I got into some PvP. So let's go. Three, four. I have to, he's just gonna whip me if not. I've got a good tray, but my stalker's also one tap. Bro, I know I'm gonna be getting called for a rocket bob a lot this series, but like honestly, what can you do if he's just whipping like that? I just came to get some magma saw eggs because I wanna do a fatty mail run. But like what can you do? Let me know in the comments because yeah. So I was scouting around center and while scouting I found a tribe trying to raid this rat hole and I'm gonna see if I can counter them, kill them, get a few kits and see what I can do from there I guess. I just want his kit. You can't bowl it here unless it's perfect. I can't. Why can't I hit him? Bro! That's so stupid. 50? 60? Oh my god, bro. Boy, <laughs> don't even use a long note. It's got nothing on it. I don't know where the other guy with the actual kit went, but um, yeah, I didn't really get too much from killing them two kids or the same guy twice. Uh, so yeah, let's move on. So I finished up scouting the center and I found another base that was literally getting built as you are seeing now. And the guy was inside the base, but I'm just going to risk it all and see if I can get in and get some loot right now. out this way I need to kill him 
I can't even lie to you, I was bobbing out so hard in this PvP fight, I was missing like every single shot, but eventually I do kill him as you're gonna see. I'm taking all of this. Thank God for that, bro. How bad was I in that PvP fight? I do not know, but like... He's got two vaults here. I kind of... Boy kind of needs to... You know what? You know what? I can probably craft C4 on this map right now, right here. So that's exactly what I did. I crafted up a bunch of C4 in a fabricator and then I just used it to destroy his vault. So let's see what loot we get. Alright, first does have a bag. Absolutely nothing in it. Alright, I literally need like one more C4. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to craft one more C4 quick to see if there's anything in our last vault. A load of farm. Them two bolts were definitely not worth it. You know what, I'll take the stone because I'm going back now. Yeah, but them bolts were absolutely terrible. Shouldn't have wasted the C4 we did on them bolts, but you know, we definitely came out with profit. Right boys, so I have store credit. I know I say this like every wipe, but like blueprints, I can't do nothing without blueprints. And if I've got store credit, may as well use it. It's like it's like equivalent to like ten pound. No, probably like fourteen pound. But I don't recommend donating all the time. But it does speed up progress a lot. Obviously, I didn't donate. I got it from store credit. But yeah, um, I got Stego Stalkers and a set of flat BPs. So it makes progress a lot easier. Not game breaking stuff, but. Just the raiding process is going to be nice now. I always like to keep you guys updated because I'm not that type of person to go, yeah, I like, I got lucky, I found these blueprints and like script content and stuff. I'd rather just tell you, at least you guys know. Uh, but yeah, that's what I got. So I needed to do a poly run and obviously Aberration is this map for Polymer. But when I got down to the poly trench, there was literally like five people PvP in. It was literally like I was running Lava Golem. So uh, let's hope I can get some Polymer safely. I could just walk up and shotgun. What damage is your shoy? Yeah. yeah, that's what I was expecting him to do. Oh, might be like again. The reg. Jump. He dead. Nice. He had broths. Oh, I found a base on crystal on one of the pillars. It's not got text. I'll be there. Oh, no. Just be a bowler bob. I don't have no guns actually. You know what? I'm just gonna jump into the void. I'm gonna die. Not your kit, my friend. So my plan here was to just come back with a stalker and I would just get my kit back, wouldn't I? Uh, obviously, I would have to take some radiation damage, but I wouldn't die completely from it. Yeah, See if it's still down there. Oh. Yeah, there's a te exo -sewer. Oh. Yeah, bro, how is he? He's seen me straight away. You know what? I'm just going to suicide this stalker. If I get this exo suit, it would be much better. Bro! I mean, it doesn't know how they do a shotgun though yet, so they do have some hit. No, now they're gonna grapple me and do that. I had a wit. Would have helped. Yeah, it probably would have now thinking of it. Okay, yeah, that base had in mind did get raided to no surprise.
<laughs> I'd do the same in a situation. I killed one. <laughs> it's been a rocket ball. I really do not know what I was actually trying to do there, but we've actually took so many L's this video, um, just dying too many times, to be totally honest with you guys. I then came over to Gen 2 because I was about to do a trade with a guy. I did actually die to his turrets. Lucky enough, he was not a scammer and actually done the legit trade. Oh, right. He must have looted my kit. I did stuff for like five shorties on me. I was going to trade with this guy. Let's hope he don't scam me. Wait, okay. He ain't gonna scam me. There we go. <laughs> He's even gave me a stack back of the resources. Let's go. So yeah, what's it? Um, I was like to that guy, can I trade? He's got like an insane blueprint. Like, there's no need to have crafting skill. All them cap shotties. And um, yeah, don't even have crafting skill. That is crazy that. That is actually crazy. There we go, we've got some cap shorties now. I'm happy with that. Um So I went to Fob on a cave that I wanted to raid and this cave had a lot of turrets in to be totally honest with you. But now I had good flak, I could raid it pretty easily with a few grapple glitches. So uh, let's do it right now. Yeah. Oh, I can do that so that easy, much, yeah. yeah. I can actually do that pretty easily. Five, I think I bring five kits ready to run it, so. Oh my god, that got so much of the wall down. Okay, it's apparently open. Oh my god, it's actually kind of fat in here. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where the gen is though. I want to find the gen. Where is the gen? I'm so... Surely not there. It is actually there. I can reuse this fact too. Two rocket runs and I was in. How much bullets? Decent bullets. I'll take everything from this base, literally. I'm so poor on resources right now, it's disgusting almost, like, yeah, I'm so poor. Uh, let me just take my kit. Hello, mate. Thank God everything weren't on neutral then, because wouldn't have been good, bruv. Alright, they're dead. I now need to find their beds, which they're right here. Let's drop everything to then we can get to looting. Smithy. Not terrible loot. I mean pretty trash, but there we go, we've got a flint we need a flint run. We do actually need a flint run bad. Uh gunpowder. We need gunpowder. We need everything, so that's good. Lightning wire, truck, truck wire, sorry. Mm, I don't know if they're good or bad, but I guess I'll take it. What level was that? Egg 45. Uh, Indie Forge, please. Ah, yes! I need metal. I know I'm on, ab on aberration, so I don't know why I'm gassing so much over metal. But I am. Okay. I'm poor on metal. Didn't even get all beds. There's beds behind this, but let me blow this. Vault, absolutely nothing. Another vault. Loads of flint. I need all this flint, so I'm gonna take all this flint. Again, can't hide, hide tech rifle. I saw a tech rifle now actually. We need that. Uh, but apart from that, to be fair, it wasn't the fattest thing, but it was so easy to raid that I don't really care, and I got bullets. All of that a half hour ago. Oh yeah, oh, we're yeah. right, we're right, yeah. I knew, I knew, like, something, like,
So apart from that, there weren't really too much on Thames. I thought there might have been loads of loot because honestly, I didn't get too, too much out of that base, but there really was not too much. Right boys, I thought I'd do a little base store, got all my stuff cooking up there, got my breeders and that, breeding a ton of stalkers because I keep on getting females which is such a dub. I've also got a couple stalkers but yeah, um, so we've got this like hanging turret and also floating turrets which are huge, uh, they're allowed on this server so that's good. I've made some veggie cakes also, uh, I've got a stalker ready for tomorrow, ready to raid people, I'm just hoping this don't get dropped like fingers crossed it don't because i'm gonna be a bit annoyed if it does which is very possible it could get dropped but you know it's all i can always rebuild it i just don't want my breeders to die which again very possible could happen but i guess i guess we'll see tomorrow as you can see the progress on the base is looking kind of mad um however uh storage is a bit weird because you can't like place it behind here and still access it uh, we've got like 2k in each turret inside, 1k in each turret outside, so a good amount of bullets actually, not terrible. Uh, I'm going to put these bullets in outside, or should I put them in, no, outside, outside, just to protect it a little bit more. I mean, if someone wants to soak this, they're going to soak it. It's, it's not too difficult to soak, uh, to be totally honest with you, but let's put 1,500 in each now and should be able to get some sleep why don't you go watch the first video of this series where we claim the rat hole and get into loads of pvp and raiding it's up on the screen right now anyway if you guys have made this far into the video please put g99 in the comments and know how i made this far which honestly means more than anything anyway guys have a major rest of your day or night wherever you are in the world and i'll see you guys in the next video